go to the desert, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Actually, nobody said that. That was me talking the whole time. I'm the one that said the desert would be fun. How's it going, everybody? My name's Jeremy, and welcome back to our channel, Happiness Travels. So, this video that you're watching today, we started our trip to go to the desert. And quick little recap, if you don't know what we've been doing for almost two years now, we've been planning on selling our house and going full-time in an RV and traveling around the U.S. and having all kinds of fun. Well, with the virus and my wife also got offered a new amazing job, we changed everything up a little bit. And I'm taking the year off. I'm homeschooling the kids, road schooling the kids when we're out on the road. My wife is home taking care of our oldest daughter who's in high school, which she comes on the trips occasionally, but not all the time. Um, so she does that. And two weeks out of each month, I take the little kids, the triplets, which are 10 years old, out on the road, and we have all kinds of fun. This trip, I decided let's take them to the desert. Why not? Now, I'll be honest with you. I was a little nervous at first. Um, just the thoughts of me and three kids out in the desert in the middle of nowhere. We didn't really know where we were going or what we were doing. So originally, it was me and the triplets, Evan, Carly, and Lexi heading to the desert. And then we get a call or text, email, something. One of the girl's friend's mom got a hold of us, and they had something that they had to go out of town for and asked us if we could watch their kid for two weeks. And we said, sure. But then realizing when this was going on, it was actually at the same time that we were planning to go on this trip. So then I'm thinking, okay, well, I don't want to cancel the trip. We already postponed some stuff because of doctor's appointments. And so anyways, everything up in the air. Well, what the heck? What's one more kid, right? So me, dad, and four 10-year-olds head into the desert. I'd be totally lying if I said I wasn't nervous a little bit. The thought of me and four 10-year-olds in the middle of the desert, wherever we may end up being, that was a little nervous. Um, because this whole trip, or the whole trip that's coming up that you guys are going to see, I only had one reservation. It was for our first two nights in Bridgeport, which you're going to see in this video today. Today's video is us driving from our home base here over to Bridgeport, uh, which, man, was a great drive. And Bridgeport was actually a lot of fun. The place we stayed at, uh, it was great. Could drive the trip. Well, I don't give away too much. You guys will see. Um, but today's video is us driving over there. And then this is a series of videos. And I think there's seven total, maybe eight total. Um, but we did some amazing stuff. We went to some awesome places, some places I've wanted to go. Um, but again, I only made reservations for the first two nights of this two and a half week trip. Everything else, we were just winging it. We were boondocking. We were going to going to go to places that were cheap to stay at. Um, but I didn't really have a plan. I just knew we were going here. And there was one place, which you'll see in next week's video, that we were going to go to. Um, but other than that, everything was just kind of left wide open. And I knew I had one week to do whatever we were going to do. Then we were going to meet my brother over at Sand Mountain, go play on the quads. And then after that, we had another week to go do. Nothing was planned and I've got to tell you, it turned out amazing. Not having reservations and not doing that, it kind of adds a little excitement to your trip. Um, just being freedom to do whatever we wanted, whenever we wanted. Gosh, that was it was it was kind of scary in a little ways because here I am, dad with four kids that I got to make sure are safe, good, having fun, doing their schoolwork, doing all that stuff. Um, but man, I got to tell you, it was uh, it was a lot of fun. Definitely brought in some of the anxiety that I've had before. Um, but all in all, we had an amazing time. This light is right in my... F this looks like crap. How's it going, everybody? We're out on another big adventure. We're actually on our way down to Bridgeport right now. Um, currently, we stopped off on the side of the road to uh, take a break and stuff. We're here by the Walker River relaxing Murphy could go out go to the bathroom all that stuff actually the kids had to go to the bathroom too um, man it's nice down here it's nice and cool a little breeze going on but we're out on our adventure and the kids actually have their friend Juliana who's on our trip with us as well so am I crazy or what taking four ten-year-olds to the desert to ghost towns to hot springs Maybe just a little bit, but it's okay. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Good 
we are currently stuck in traffic at the top of Echo Summit, waiting to go down the other side. They got road construction going on. They replaced one side of the the cliff area last week, and it's still it's only one lane still. So we are sitting in traffic, just having a blast. <laughs> no, no blast. So we are out on our way right now, heading to Bridgeport. And while we're there, we're gonna stay at the reservoir they got there. And then the next day, we're gonna head over to the old Bodie ghost town and go check that place out. Super excited about that. Been wanting to do that for a while now. So we're gonna do that. And then after that, we're heading south and got some hot springs to go to. And it's gonna be a fun trip. Huh, sweetie? This silver maple place, they use that in some, uh, some movie. Oh, here's the, the courthouse right here. Oh, uh, that's it? Right here, yeah. There's a museum down there. Right here, though. That's the old courthouse. Part of this was in some um, movies a while back. Doing, Juliana? You guys can go out a little ways. It's not super deep, huh? Come on, guys. Well, we are here at the Bridgeport Reservoir Campground here in Bridgeport. So we're down at the the water right now. Girls are out there having fun. I, it seems way too cold to go swimming, but they're kids, so they're having fun. Evan's gonna go try some fishing. 
and it's cool because you can take the truck right down here to the uh, to the water, which is nice. So, man, it was it was hot on the way over here, but now it's nice. <laughs> we have to unhook the water tonight from the trailer because I guess it's been getting down to like 28, 30 degrees at nighttime. So we got the air conditioning on in the trailer right now to stay cooler, but here in an hour or two, we're gonna turn that off and switch the heater on. So. But the kiddos are out here having a good time. Tomorrow we're gonna to head down into Bodie, the old ghost town, so we're super excited about that. Gonna go check that out. And then there's also the Travertine, I don't know if I'm saying that right, Hot Springs, right down the road. We're gonna go check that out as well tomorrow. So that'll be fun. So we're doing two nights here at the campground. And then after that, we're gonna go head down past the Vining off 395 um, to another Hot Springs and do some uh, boondocking out there on some BLM land. So we'll do that for a couple days. And then after that, we're not sure. I just know we're going to be at Sand Mountain, Nevada um, a week from today to meet my brother over there to go play on the quads and stuff. So we will see what happens, but man. It's very nice here. Very nice. The wind's blowing this way, so. Evan casts out and then the bobber just <laughs> comes back really quick. Poor little guy. He's having fun though, so. Alright, well, let these guys have some fun and see what other kind of fun we can get ourselves into.